है I know. There we are. <laughs> there we go. What is up, everybody? I am Mr. Five Star, aka Tony Clapper. That was in the first. I'm actually Tony Clapper, aka Mr. Five Star. But it's early, and we're here. And we're talking about social media. Social media can make you, or it can break you. It can hinder you, or it can be something that just fuels the flame. Uh, Ryan Robinson. Let me ask you this question first, buddy. How do you utilize? Let, let's let, let's start actually with introdu- with introductions. I'm all mixed up. Let me go ahead and right beside me. Everybody, introduce yourself. Who you are, what you do. Let's go from there. Let's do that first. That's the most important thing to do. Uh, hey y'all, I'm Vesenia Lindsay. You can call me Ves. I've been on a lot of panels here, <laughs> but yeah, I do comics. Um, my comic is Celestial Pole. Sounds like through October. I stream on Twitch, help artists, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Next, one of the gentlemen in the back. Uh, okay. Uh, Chris Fury of Hope and Future of Blurred's Eye Views, the podcast that discusses geek entertainment and entertainment as a whole uh, from a POC point of view. Okay. Okay. Nice to have you. Nice to have you. And last but certainly not least, the originator. Ryan, what's up, With Moana as well on the adventures of Nicole and Nohia, Shadows of the Ancient, out now. Amazing, lovely, brilliant. And I'm here. Let's talk. Let's go. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's go. Uh, I'll, I'll ask this question. Whoever wants to throw it, whoever wants to jump in can answer it. How so far have you used social media to enhance what it is that you that you do? Uh, for me, I uh, well, like I do, I do, I do my web show and podcast live from Facebook, from Twitch, uh, Twitter, YouTube. I do all of that live, and then I still do like uh, a review show that's strictly for YouTube. So between that and IG, I help you know it helps to network, especially since the world will shut down. It helps yeah. to network and, and kind of get more people out there and involved. And I've actually gained a lot more following that way uh, because there were other people who didn't have that voice that's in the POC community or in the blurred community and they didn't have a voice to talk about this geeky stuff that we talk about whether it's comics whether it's movies gaming anime whatever and they needed a voice you know you had people who are writers of comics and, and, and graphic novels who don't get seen a lot and I allowed my platform to be that to be that uh, uh, stage for them to come on talk about their things i've seen kickstarters i've seen uh, uh other projects really take off because they needed more eyes so yeah that's why I was nice oh i think we got we got friend coming in friend mckenzie what's happening can you guys hear me we can hear you we can hear you what's can going on man so nice to hear you guys can you hear us now Yes. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> good, good, good. Ren, how you doing? Oh, man, I'm alive. Good, good, good. I just asked a question. Um, how have you used social media to enrich and enhance what it is that you do? How How is, how is uh, social media play a part in your everyday world? Froze. So we're gonna go. Ren froze. <laughs> we're gonna go to the next person. That is a steal for days. Look at that steal. Look at. <laughs> Look at. There we go. There Are we frozen? Oh, uh, you good now? <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys on Wi-Fi? What are you guys? You're on the dollar over there. 
Okay, so what what has uh, social media done to enhance what I've done or what I do? Okay, very easily, man. When uh, when the shutdown started a couple years ago, I had to figure out a way to keep my my art going, uh, keep my little little uh, lifestyle the way it is. Um, so I started doing live drawings online uh, on Facebook specifically uh, at this point, but um, it it really worked to my favor, I think. Um, I'm not a, as you can see, I'm not a savvy guy as, as far as digital stuff. Um, if it was up to me, I'd still be using CDs, man. I, I don't like, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like technology. So I, I would have a bit, I still have a big book of CDs downstairs, but I don't have anything to play them on cause, uh, nobody uses it. But yeah, the, the social media has helped a lot as far as broadening my, my base, broadening the people who see my work, um, broadening the, the fact that I can interact with people uh, outside of the, the conventions or outside of, uh, you know, whatever else we do as in this medium. So it's helped me a lot. It's helped me a lot. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, shout outs to Alyssa who just popped in. How are you? We're good. How's everybody? We're good. We're good. We're good. Ryan. Hey, hey, I'm sorry. Yeah, listen, you know your book out, right? You know your book out. Your first comic book is out. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <That's so awesome. laughs> and that cover is fire. Uh -huh. fire. <laughs> is this the first time you've seen your own book? Well, it's yeah. Basically, it's like just have it in their hands, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I haven't had it in my hands yet. <laughs> So Michael Michael should be popped in his lips for not sending you a copy. Randy. I know. He just like surprises on people's faces. That's what it is. I think he's had so much like, joy with it. No, awesome. no, you should have the joy. And you said why in his lips? Because that's where my mom used to pop me. <laughs> it's it's extremely painful to get popped in the lips. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Ryan, you just suck them in. Yes, you keep, you keep, uh, you keep running off. So we gonna get you while you still back there. Uh, oh, what's that boy? Up now? I'm blazing. That's the reason why I had to go reap up. <laughs> how, how is, uh, how are you using social media to enhance uh, what, what it is that you do? I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you. These last two years, especially through the COVID and the pandemic time, where everybody didn't have to do nothing, <laughs> which was nice. Um, I got the opportunity to really focus on art at that point in time, and I was really yeah. putting a lot of stuff out there. Um, and then Mike slowly started introducing me to people through social media. So it is incredibly impactful. Like, I've, I've, I met Ren through Mike, Moana through Mike, a lot of people through Mike, through social media. So it's a very impactful tool, as we say. <laughs> yeah. But if, if overall outweighs best, I think for algorithms, that's where the downfall comes into play with social media lately. Because yeah. algorithms have been a trigger of a lot of talk nationally and rurally lately on how there's only benefits to certain genres or certain entertainment values for people. But overall, networking is the key of social media for me um, and getting the views and getting your work out there. That's what really is the benefit for me for social media. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> your turn. Yeah, so I've been doing this way before the pandemic. <laughs> and I can tell you it has been very impactful. Um, I built a community and the community were was able to interact with me, get to know me, and even my readers. So it made it way better, a way better experience. And it also made it, it influence me so that I can add to my book what they've been thinking 
about and, you know, uh, giving them a little bit of surprise and stuff like that. So I can honestly say it's really, really impactful. Um, even like if I had to throw a Kickstarter, everybody's on the ball because they're like, oh, let's just about to do this. Let's do it, you know? And uh, word of mouth, other people be hearing about me and showing up. And uh, now I'm networking even more so I get to meet amazing people like you guys. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's, it just became like a, a great thing, you know, building that family, building that community also. Just continue. I, I like it. I'm gonna continue. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Jeremy, I know you just uh you just hopped in here. Um we're talking about just how are how are you able to use social media to enhance uh what it is that you do? How do you use social media to uh to to help you out as a tool? Um I would say social media has impacted my reach and networking, and that's how I met a lot of the creators for the Story Monster podcast. It's through different groups on Facebook, just networking with current creators. And most of the guests I've had on my podcast, I met at actual Comic Cons and Artist Alley, because I like to support independent creators. That's what the Story Monster podcast is all about. And um, it's it's been monumental. And even learning how to optimize my site with search engine optimization has changed it dramatically as far as the reach and the impressions of people who don't currently follow me. So I'd say it has a, a, a huge weight on how many people I can reach and how many new people I can meet and share their work with the world. Nice, nice. For sure. Alyssa, so last but not least, how are you using social media to enhance some of the things that you're doing? Um, I'm kind of agreeing with every is networking. For me, it's kind of like, um, since I don't post as much and I'm still new at it, I tend to like to reach out to people who are doing work themselves. Like, for example, like Ryan over here, like he's a fantastic artist. How I want to like promote with my work, it's like I'll ask like an artist, can you do a work for me? And at the same token, I'll like promote like what you're doing. And it's like helping each other out. So it's like, how does it help you promote like my, like my character? showing like how wonderful she is it's also i'm promoting like him as well as when if anybody like has kickstarters that have like cameos that's how like i met like mike watson with lens it's like oh this is an opportunity to introduce my character and it's not only for myself it's also helping promote the creators of what their work is doing so it's like really not just like the network of like helping myself it's also helping others what they're doing so that's the way that I feel like social media has acted a lot is helping each other, which is it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's nice too. And I know a couple of people have mentioned, you know, the pandemic. Um, COVID was a horrible thing, but through the ashes, you have seen people have to up their game, right? People have had to, okay, we have to adjust. We have to figure things out. We have to turn, turn this negative into a positive. We got to figure it out. In that, I would say you kind of had like the podcast baby boom and sorts, right? Like everyone had a podcast for a while. And I think the people that are still doing their podcasts are the ones who kind of, you know, got, they was on that hill with everybody and now they're, they're still, you know what I mean? Like they, they wrote it out and they're, they're still doing it. Like some, some podcasts have dropped off, but it's like, everybody was like, okay, we got to figure this out, right? And, and through that, I think the, the creative community has kind of came together even more now than ever, I would say. Uh, does anybody agree with that or disagree with that? That kind of the pain. I 100% agree. 100%. I, agree. Yeah. I, agree. Uh, I started. I, disagree. <laughs> I actually started my. Why you disagree, Ray? Yeah. No, no, I'm going to I'm gonna wait. I'm going to wait. I, uh, you're not going <laughs> to no. have me cut anybody off. Right. So I, I actually started. Uh, you're, you're already, you already opened your mouth. You might as well say it. Let's go. <laughs> I think Mike Watson sent her some money before the show. I, I know, right? I know, right? She, he, she's a ringer now. Yeah. <laughs> well, whoever but wants yeah. to go, go ahead. If you, uh, uh, so I started my show two years, almost two and a half years ago. And, yeah. you know, I was always, I'm always been a comic book fan. I've always been a fan of a lot of television genres and movie genres. 
and I always love talking about this stuff. I can talk about this stuff for hours on end. And when the world shut down, I was actually in the midst of doing a project for the media school that I was going to. And that kind of put a stop to some things. So I said, well, why don't I just go ahead and do this? Well, now it's grown from just talking about comics mm. to just talking about flat out entertainment as a whole. Yeah. And not only that, now it's spread out to becoming an entertainment hub because I'm growing my, my team, my actual team. You know, so we're, I'm doing a website. I'm doing uh, live events like this. I'm, you know, doing all types of appearances. So for some people, yes, it died down. I do agree. Some people, you know, they just kind of fell out. They look at it as a hobby. Me, I'm looking at it as my second nine to five, trying to make it first. You know, yeah. so I like to consider the show a cross between Jimmy Fallon and Arsenio Hall. Nice. You know, so it's just kind of, you know, I, I help people get on. I talk about some great stuff that we, we see, like who doesn't like House of the Dragon or Game of Thrones Wait, what? Or, or Lord of the Rings? <laughs> you know, it, it, like who doesn't type, like talking about the latest edition in the MCU or even Avengers versus the Eternals or so whatever's going on. They Lord of the Rings can hit. So fish can hit. They Lord of the Rings. So fish can hit. You know, Lord of the Rings. Rings of power. Like, who doesn't love, especially now? in this age which i just had a conversation with a friend of mine like this is kind of like the black renaissance you know we, we have dwarves we have elves we have queens we have warriors in 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 what in west worlds and everything else we were bell tinkerbell yeah. ariel ariel you know mm -hmm. so it, it's, it's growing and it, we're seeing we're seeing the platform grow more and it's, you know when you see people who just do it for a hobby you can kind of get that vibe from them because it's like they're not interested as much. Go see the Woman King out now. Please go see the Woman King. The review coming up soon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, you do see a lot of show or a lot of podcasts that you know they just did it. You know, you might they might do it like once a month, you know, or once every two weeks or whatever. The case. You can tell where other shows they they like. I'm giving you a show either every day. Or every week, yeah. maybe twice out of that week, you know, because mm -hmm. it's it's a, it's a passion. They love what they're talking about. They love the content that they have. And in entertainment, whether it's in entertainment of any form, wrestling or all that stuff, there's always topic to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, yeah. who would have thought that DX would have been running a building right now? Who would have thought that? Not me. <laughs> yeah, no, one hundred percent agree. Uh, someone who doesn't agree, Ren, what, what what was what was it that you wanted to add to it? Uh, ask the question again. I'm old. <laughs> well, that's the thing. <laughs> you were, that. That's the thing. You, I thought you were you were so amped up to say you disagree. I thought you remember. At this point, I don't even know if I remember the question. That Listen, I asked. I, I'm an old army vet, man. I'm shell shocked. I, I forget easily. Um. <laughs> I think it has something to do with no, nah, it's uh, about uh, it's, the social so media. Social boom, media right? has, in my eyes, has brought the community, the creative community together. Yeah, yeah. Um, out of the pandemic, you see a lot more creators working with each other um, through these podcasts and whatnot. Okay, so the part of that is true. the The problem that I've always had with with the indie community, in particular, uh, being from uh, well, living in Ohio and Columbus in particular, you know, I, I know Michael Watson, I know Victor Danders, I know quite a few uh, extremely talented individuals in the indie community. Um, and I've, I've gone to thousands of, of conventions and shows and whatever. I've, I've seen the fans, I've seen the, the flybys, I've seen the, the cash grab cats, uh, I've seen the the Kinko's comics, I've seen the, you know, whatever. <laughs> the the biggest problem I have with the the community overall are the people who are are solely in it to try to capitalize on what they believe is mm -hmm. something that something they can make, that money, they off can make money off of. Money. Like obviously like, all obviously of us all are are doing what we do because we love it and we've we've loved it since you know since forever yeah and 
And that's 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 absolutely amazing. But there's so many people creeping into this this genre because of the MCU or the DCU or or whatever they've seen on on TV. And they're trying their best to make up something and pop in. And I've I've been in comics since I was a kid. And again, I'm old. So, you know, mm-hmm. when when you know 7-Eleven had comics on the turnstile and you could go and get them for you know 75 cent, I'm certain some of you have never seen a 75 cent comic that was actually oh, I, have. That, I, have, that, I actually yeah. missed those days. <laughs> okay, so it it's I love the community, believe me, I love the community okay. and I love I love being able to I I I've gotten commissions from some of you guys. And so I talk with some of the guys all the time, man. I, I, I wish that it was a little more exclusive than it is at this point. You know, it, it's, it's one of those things, like a lot of people use it as a fad and, and it, it kind of pisses me off as an, as an illustrator that has been doing this for, you know, 20, going on 20 years professionally full time. Um, you can you can see it. You can see the, the the passion in all of your works. I'm certain, and you can also see and tell when somebody is not passionate about it. Mm. So there, there's my rant. That is uh, <laughs> incredibly 100 percent valid. So Ren, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. here for it. Yeah, my oh, man. That's, I want to think exactly what we're yeah, saying. I can agree with that. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> we 100 agree. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, no, I agree with you too. Um, I thought you was gonna come in and say something crazy and reckless. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> in true Bren style, but no, you're right. Do you do you? And anybody can answer this question. Do you feel like that's just a uh, a fab that's like now that it's gonna eventually die off, and then it'll be it'll get back to those who are just you know that are that have that passion or do you think this is going to be a train that's going to be it's going to be going for a while the way that it's going i, I don't think it's going to stop um as someone who writes blogs i've pitched articles to other major websites i'm not going to name them and one of the things that i receive in the instructions for writing these articles is even youtube videos you know i, I pitched to them and one of the things they ask you to do, I kid you not, go on Wikipedia and read about the comic, read about the movie, and write content based on that. Oh, and that, wow. to me, is extremely disingenuous. Wow. And that, that goes back to what Ren said. You can tell who's really passionate about the stuff, which is why I created my own blog and podcast, because I'm like, I'm not going to keep trying to write for these sites that aren't really about the culture that don't right. really consume the content is very robotic and I don't like it. So I can attest to him saying that there's a lot of saturation in the market, but you know, truth will out, you know? So basically the people who are really passionate, they're going to rise to the top. Like Macho Man said, the cream of the crop, you know? So they will offer the fire of those who've been here and you know, they'll be left in the ashes. So I'm optimistic about the people who are really, you know, about this life, you know, remaining and persevering through these posers. We'll see. We'll see. The posers. I'm I'm hoping that it it lasts. Uh I think I think at this point there's it's so big that the Hollywood is is pushing so much and and then you have all these people coming out of the woodwork like, oh, my God, this shouldn't be such and this shouldn't be such. But they've never read an actual comic. And, and like I said, if you're yeah. if you're reading Wikipedia instead of mm-hmm. reading the actual books that these that these stories were made from, like I never I never read a Sandman book in my life. And when Man, I watch. I, 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 listen, <laughs> I, 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 I'm an artist, artist, and I I. Don't don't tell anybody. Don't tell Gaiman. I didn't like the artwork, so I never read the books. Uh, okay, 
I, I will respect your decision. I will respectfully <laughs> decline your decision, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, like I, I can't, I can't read a book if, if I don't, if I don't like the artwork. But I, um, I love the show. Like I absolutely love the show. So I didn't have any preconceived notions about what the characters were supposed to be or what the story was supposed to run to. Yeah. Um, I simply, at this point, truthfully, I watch these shows, and and I look at the genre, and and even when I read my my the new books, I'm I'm at the comic shop every Wednesday. I try to find simply a good story mm. in what's going on. You know what I mean? So five star, even though he doesn't love his mom, uh, <laughs> I absolutely. I was, new, I, was, <laughs> I was a new writer then, Ren. Cut me some slack. <laughs> no slack, man. No slack for Ren McKenzie, buddy. Yeah, at least I, I mean, I, I, at least I got Michael Watson in my corner now who can who can stop me and say, hey, bro. Man, listen, you can't listen to Mike. He calls his mom by her first name. He don't love his mama either. Oh, wow. <laughs> now we're now we hitting, we hitting the personal note. Oh, no. What the fuck? I wouldn't expect anything uh, less. There's the rent. Ren, There's yeah, the rent. Ren, this is a social media impact, not throwing fists at us. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Well, you, listen, I, all I heard was impact, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm a fighter. I, I have to. Oh, Mike said Mike said he's got his he's got his hitters in the chat right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's that's my look. One more time, good. Alyssa came in for the cut. It's, it's good hey, to see you, young in. lady. I feel, like, I feel like Ren came in. He was waiting if Ren was gonna come in, and then Alyssa snuck in right after Ren. Like he put his he put his agent in there. Like all right, look, I need you. Anytime he says anything goes off the rail, I need you to kind of bring it back. I see we're gonna be good back. friends. <laughs> all right. So if you had to list your number one go to social media platform, what are you what are you what are you listing? You can just go around whoever you can Jeez, start. I don't even know because like I've been on Twitter. I've been on YouTube. Mm -hmm. YouTube tried to play me. So I went on Twitch. That's the next I've question. I've been doing good on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. been there. Like, but I've noticed that um if you're not on Twitter, you don't like you don't hit other communities of like uh gaming communities or um, people who need art from you, like uh, other people who are creating comics that have stories mm. and they need artists or like um, the artist club or, you know, Black TikTok, because I'm a beat on there. <laughs> but like, you know, it's just um, all, those, all those different types of platforms, when they go hand in hand, mm. they kind of make you stronger yeah. in present wise. So I would say like, it's a, it's a hard question to choose one. Yeah, I I agree. I, I'm just trying to I'm trying to make y'all. I'm trying to I'm trying to make have y'all make sacrifices right now. So well, Twitch is it then because man. All right, next. This will just go in the order of the screen. That's how we gonna operate. So. So that way. That way. Uh, okay, so for me, uh, no. I it was Facebook in the beginning, and then it became yeah. Instagram. Yeah. And then it became TikTok, and then I started concentrating on Twitter, and now it's become Twitch. So I do, and then YouTube's on on that basis as well. So I just cover all the bases as much as I possibly can. You know, where I do a TikTok, I know it's going to go over to Instagram. So I'll just take it from Instagram and throw it on Twitter, and then Twitch will get the show and everything else. So like, yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of a toss up. Yeah, oh, I agree. Yeah. Ryan? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, uh, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not that good at it yet. I haven't found my stride, as they say. Um, yeah. <laughs> mostly Facebook, mostly TikTok. Uh, Twitter, I don't do that. Uh, that's what I'm not going to do. <laughs> Instagram, uh, that's where the beauty's at. That's what I'm not going to do. I haven't updated my Instagram in like two years, so that tells you something. Um, yeah, we done right there. Let's <laughs> my dude said, that, that's not what, that, that right there is not what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do that to win. My man went around the bushes to say he don't like the internet. 
<laughs> he, yeah, right. He's I pretty mean, much. Like, I'm on Facebook was like, like all the time, and like I'm on TikTok a lot. So like I, I like it's hard to keep up on everything, you know. And not to mention like my time is like not it's limited now. So like because you know I got my nine to five, and next thing I know I'm working on art and. Then, you know, I like to sleep. You know, I'm one of those emotional human beings that like to sleep. <laughs> so, I didn't know they made that. I that I, 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 part of that stock. We <laughs> thought you were a robot over here. Yeah. So, yeah, that yeah that that tells you about my social media person. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ren, Ren is Ren, Go ahead, man. You straight. You straight Facebook. That's I'm, it. Huh? I, I'm I'm just about that. Truthfully, uh, I'm I'm always on Facebook. I have a TikTok. I have a Instagram. I deleted my Twitter. I I I didn't even download Twitter on my new. I don't like it. Um, I I've hey, never understood that, that Twitter. it. Twitter, Twitter's a thing that I'm I've not. Ne I've never understood Twitter. Um, but I've got like I've got those social medias. But I like I said before, I don't understand a lot of how things work on the internet. I I just don't understand it. So, um. I go live on Facebook. Uh, I've been told that I should go live on Instagram, mm -hmm. and uh, I, yeah, I've done a, a few. Lot of artists go live on Instagram. It helps yeah. a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I've, I've done a few videos for uh, TikTok, but I, it's it's kind of weird for me to sit and try to put music to my art and match it up and all that kind of stuff. And it takes yeah. a lot of time, and and it's using a lot of my time to go and do other projects and. Uh, and, and for one thing, a lot of the projects I'm doing now, I can't even, I can't even promote yet. Mm. So, you know, I can't do anything. And, I, and then I don't have time to do my lives. I, I haven't done my renderings um, in, in a few months now. I know so, Brad was in the comments. He said he's, he's upset. I, I'm sorry, Brad. I'm sorry. I, I, I'll get back to you. I don't come buckle your kneecap if you don't do a rendering. <laughs> right. Brad is one of the biggest indie <laughs> comic supporters Ren. how could you not fill his week with at least one sorry i'm just kidding i'm playing i'm playing i, I don't want any trouble man <laughs> i gotta go get the band-aids after this show <laughs> yeah, yeah attitude era <laughs> right, right, right. I'll, I will, I will follow up with you, Rand. I can show you a few of the ropes. Um, I've been studying search engine optimization and digital marketing for a better part of three years, and um, I gotta say, Instagram is my bread and butter. Um, is that right? In addition to Facebook, but if I had to choose one, I would go with Facebook because I follow the data, and my data is twenty-five to thirty-four demographic. They're on Facebook. Some of them are also on Instagram and they're owned by the same entity. So when you say Facebook, you're saying Instagram and vice versa. Um, there's an art to the hashtag game. And that's something I learned the hard way when I wasn't getting any views, any impressions. And I was just like, whoa, like, what is going on out here? They don't tell you how the algorithm works. You know, you, you got to study it. You got you to gotta test it out. So I would choose. And here's, here's the thing about that. Even with the algorithm, it changes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And they don't tell you when it changes either. So you got to, you like, well, what? no one's seeing my stuff. My share button isn't appearing. You just got to ask around, hey, can you see my stuff? Can you screenshot it? It's really a science. And I feel like, you know, for people who don't want to get into it, you know, collaborate with someone like myself at the Story Monster. And, and I'll give you the, I'll give you the nuggets to help you be successful or to take sure. over the world. Um, but yeah, man, it, it's a science to it. It's a little dirty, but um, I like getting my hands dirty and figuring out how things work. So I would say Facebook slash Meta slash Instagram. That's that's where I get all my, my influence. Drum and drop and bomb. <laughs> I work at the will of the story monster. <laughs> Alyssa, how about you? Um, I'm going to have to agree with Ren and Ryan when it comes to like social media, because now since I'm like, as soon as they tell me like, oh, so now that you're promoting comics, you got to do work I'm, like, by selling. They're like, yeah, by putting yourself out there more. I was like, ah. 
Okay. <laughs> so I'm playing. So I have to learn, like we're saying, like algorithms. I'm going to Instagram, and I would hear complaints like, "Oh, algorithm changes up and down. You have to do this and this." I'm like, "Man, that's a lot of work. Can't just somebody like look at the screen and be like, you like it, and you're gonna buy my comic? That's cool." That was, <laughs> but that would be um, nice. If that was how mm -hmm. it was. Just see it. Just see it. They, they, it was actually, yeah. it was actually like a graph that I used to follow. And I'm like, it was just doing too much. It was doing way too much to like, okay, post it this time. Like, I'm not up at three in the morning. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, still yeah. sleeping. I'm not posting anything and I'm not setting anything up to post. So I just said, screw it. Do all that out the window. And I'm like, if I like something, I'm going to make a post about it. I did a post about, I did a quick post about the woman king. Yeah. Blew him out the water. Did a post about, <laughs> Uh, POCs taking over all this fantasy, blow them out of the water because hey, people want to see that. Okay, okay, okay. So I yeah, and I, I do. I, yeah, I agree with it because it's like you have to like all constantly like in your mind as you're sleeping, as you're doing this. Like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna post? How am I gonna do this? How should I entertain somebody? And uh, kind of gets mentally tiring after a while. And to me, it seems like easier. Like on Facebook, it's not only like you're putting your social platform out there, it's also like you're more connected with friends, like a little bit easier. Like, hey, you know, can you like send this out? And I feel like Facebook's a little bit better. And then Instagram, to me right now, since I'm still playing around with it, easier. I don't like Twitter either. Twitter is what I'm not going to do. Twitter used to be like little, like, it was like, uh, what was it? Almost like Facebook, you just think like a few things, and then after that, just whatever, political, whatever. So not Twitter, but yeah. So far, Facebook and Instagram is okay with me, but again, I have to put algorithms, and again, it's a lot of work. So, it is a lot of work. Um, so we've kind of mentioned it, we touched on it, but I'm gonna ask the question: How do you, each one of you, like get past those hurdles and them obstacles? We talk about other. We're gonna be talking about. Even even just inspiration or even just, you know, we all we all do have a lot of on, on our plates. We all are, you know, everybody knows being a creative is tough at times, right? You're trying to, to stay ahead of the game and then we have our own lives that we're going that we have going on, whether you, you got kids or you got jobs or whatever that you're trying to do. So I would consider that a hurdle also. How do you um, kind of rise above those hurdles and what kind of tips and tricks do you have that you can share with people watching? On how that you just get how do you get past that um so um i'm gonna have to like thank god for my husband because <laughs> when i can't do something he's on the ball for the next nice, thing you nice. know what i'm saying so thank god for that man <laughs> he's sitting over there too yeah, he's, sitting over there. <laughs> he's sitting over there like mm -hmm. yeah but, tell him um, i said hello <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but tell you the truth, uh, when something doesn't work out on one platform, we move it to the next. We're not waiting. Like, yeah. YouTube mm -hmm. went ahead and blocked me because I drew a superhero on tights and they called it nudity. So I was like, all right, bet I'm going to Twitch. I'm not dealing with y'all. Like, yeah. it's just not happening. You're not going to stop me creating. You're not going to stop me seeing my people, my community. It's not happening. So every mean, time I talk and I tell them, yo, I'm going over here, they move us with me. Because it's like the last thing you want to do is not keep in contact with your people, the people that actually want to support you and want to see you, so you know, thrive through all this and are learning by looking at you. Because to tell you the truth, um, me having my community, I and them like be inspired by me working and stuff like that and telling me how I change their perspective, why, how I help them. Yeah, it's like. Damn, I'm here for their mental health as well as mine. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So like, I need to be, you know, right. <laughs> you know, keep it going, keep it pushing, jumping on each train. If one stops, well, we gotta catch the L train because you know that one is going. You know, it's gonna go a different way. Sure, yeah. it's gonna be a little bit harder. Sure, I gotta learn these things, but I'm doing it not only for myself but for my community. Nice. Okay. Okay. Um, train ain't stopping over this way. Uh -uh. Right. Train ain't stopping. Oh, mine way. right there. Something that Ren mentioned earlier, which plays into this, is if I don't talk about something I love, then it just it just falls to the wayside. Like mm. I love movies. I love television shows. I love comics. I'm not going to talk about 
the baseball game because I don't watch baseball. However, if I talk about how people are downplaying She-Hulk, and I'm like, you've never read a John Byrne comic, have you? You've never exactly. heard about Chipperella, have you? You know, then that's what's going to get people drummed up. Like, you know what? Yeah, he's got a point. Let me go back and check this out. Mm-hmm. He knows what he's talking about. I like it. I want to see that. So if I just talk about the stuff that I know and that I love, it just connects easier. Yeah, it just it just it just connects easier. So yeah, of course you, you're going to see these like right now. Perfect example. They're trying to downplay the Woman King. Go see it for yourself. You won't be disappointed. So yeah. you know what? I don't follow the trend, as they like to call. You know, I, I stick with the people. What the people like to hear, that's what I give them. You know, and yeah. it's something that I happen to like. You know, just like Ren said earlier, there's that there's that cash grab and there's that fad. And yes, that will die out. People talk about the MCU. Will it die out? Are we getting overwhelmed? No, no, no. we're not. We we I, I'm blessed to be in the time where we get this kind of content because there was a time we would barely get this content and you would never get it for about 10 to 15 yeah. years and then when we did get it mm-hmm. it was garbage you know <laughs> so <laughs> we just had to deal with it so right. if i just talk about what i love people feel that they mm-hmm. understand it's like yeah you're talking with some passion you know what you're talking about right let me watch more of that let me let me follow him for that let me watch his videos for that let me see about that so yeah I, I think you just stick with what you love just like when i say you, you can't lose okay okay ryan i know you you're still um, uh you're somebody who has said that you, you know you're still you know figuring things out um what i mean who are you who are you like who inspires you who are you looking at what kind of things like you're working on things but like what kind of things are you working on to, to get your social media presence? I think for me, like for presence alone, it's, I have a really good support system. My partner supports me in everything I do. Um, he's been there for me for everything. So mm-hmm. if I didn't have that, I would have problems. Um, <laughs> and for me, like, I think for that, I mean, I, my time, like I said, is very valuable. If my partner didn't that like then it would be crazy because like right now I'm doing a lot of stuff you know working on a lot of things and time is very limited so I schedule everything to wrap around everything that's why I said my social media presence is not strong but when it's strong I'll like drop things that I love just like he says I drop things that I love and I love seeing people of color in shit now I'm gonna say it again. I love seeing the people of color. They with your now. chest, your whole yeah. chest. All I mean, yes. you know. So for me, like it's not the chest and popping out the shirt. You said it. We live in a beautiful time, and it's yeah. outrageous the yeah. backlash, the negativity from our own fandom is highly fucking and irritating. Yes, I said it, and I say it again. I said what I said. You said what I said. Okay. I do believe. So you said. for me, it's the love of the supportive community who value these kind of properties, right. who value these kind of things, who value this kind of entertainment, so, you know? And for social media as a whole, I like putting things out there like the books that I'm working on or the soldering that's coming up or my art book that's coming up. Plug. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Plug. Hey, hit me up, Ryan. Yeah. You, know, you know I collect art books. That's right. The Art of Ryan Robinson, <laughs> Volume One, coming soon. You know, and I got my book, my third book coming out with the Adventures of Nokia: Journey to Ikua, which is going to be unreal. So expect that. So, like, there's a lot of things that I'm doing, but social media is that impact to let people know the value of what entertainment is and the value of letting people know what you love to do. And that's what it's all about. You know, me as an artist. It's about putting myself out there and showing what I love to do. Like five star, <laughs> um, but things of that, you know? So that's what it is. And it's about support. People who are supporting you, friends who love you, family that love you. It's a clan of goodies. What water finds okay. its place. Yeah, okay. Okay. Water, water finds its place. Ren? 
Hey, real quick, real quick, this is all the way off subject, though. Yeah. Yo, what's up? The way that your mic comes down and it, like, from an angle blends in with your beard, I thought your beard was off to, like, one side, like a. <laughs> <laughs> I kept looking at him like, I'm like, I'm like, how does this man got his beard sticking out? <laughs> and then you moved up, and I see it's the it's the mic piece. And I'm like, oh okay, but I'm I like, got the extra beard, beard, homie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this dude's beard is like, he got it like, to the left, like. Hey, my oh. beard, stay pimping, baby. <laughs> I was like, nah, I, I, uh, I got to get my, my, my beard on tilt like hey, that. Hey, you ain't going to get your stuff like yeah. this, player. You ain't going to get it like this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, I absolutely love the community, man. Uh, outside of outside of the BS I talked about earlier, um, I try to support. I, I think anybody that I've met in person here, I've supported. And I, I try to support as much as possible, especially if I've met you um it's it's all about respect it's all about it's all especially in in social media if you if you respect the genre if you respect the love of this thing that we do that we put our blood sweat and tears in and and not to sound too cliche it's gonna come back and and you're gonna feel it and it's gonna push you as hard as you are willing to push yourself right I cannot stress to you how many times I have wanted to quit, yeah. even on social media. Like I, I really, I really don't like social media. I don't like being on the internet, dude. I it, CDs should come back, <laughs> but I know it's a useful tool. I know that it, it's a way for me to keep in contact with with you, Tony, you, Ryan, everybody else. I absolutely love not only being on there but seeing you guys and and i might not i might not mention or 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 comment on everything but i'm gonna hit that like button and and i'm gonna do as much as i can to support you when i can you understand what i'm saying and and i hope that the people who love this genre man they'll do the same i'm gonna if if you even mention to me i need this pushed out I'm pushing it. I'm gonna push it for you. You know, I'm a fan as well man, as. You. Oh man, I love myself. But it, it's it's just real for me. I mean, it it really is a hundred percent part of of who I am and who I've always been. Like I said, if you've ever met me, I'm gonna try to make you laugh. And and I'm gonna try to make you as happy as I am, and and that's how I think everybody should be, because I I you know I've been in dark times before. We're not gonna get into that shit, but life is not so complicated that you can't support the shit you love. And I'll, I'll support everybody here. You inbox me whatever it is you got, and I'm gonna see it. I want to see your podcast. I want to see your books. And and there's no way you shouldn't have seen your book before anybody else. I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna cut it off there. I'm, I'm an old man. I'll talk forever. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy. Oh man, that was hilarious. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in the '90s watching WWF. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's like I get the inspiration. I get the violence. I get the charisma. Like it's, <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah. For me, I have to say it's my podcast, like talking to creators. Um, that's what keeps me going on social yeah. media. Um, I remember just going to a bunch of like indie comic cons, not the super big ones. I worked my way up and just meeting people. I was like, wait, people look like me selling hundreds of books? Mm. And it, it just, it changed my life. You know what I'm saying? So as I, you know, moved up to like C2E2 and stuff like that, you know, I started going to the artist alleys and stuff like that and speaking to people who were, you know, selling their commissions and the books that they've drawn in or drawn for or written for. And I was just like, wait a minute, I need to hear their stories. I need to know how this guy or this woman got here because this 
this is a big deal. The tables ain't cheap. You know, the exposure is everything. And so I just, it was as simple as picking up a business card off the table and just sending a message on Facebook like, hey, hi, this is who I am. Check me out. I'm not a bot. I have a LinkedIn. You know what I'm saying? And then once that happened, you know, other people vouch or vet for you. And so it's just like, oh, yeah, I, I know Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. He's not a murderer anymore. So, <laughs> not anymore. I, I was able to, like, make connections and build a network from there. And just, like, if you just go to the Story Monster podcast, I'm very candid. Like, we're just talking and goofing, like, right now. Yeah. Because I like to listen to people's interviews. I like to listen to interviews on other platforms. Nerd Soul was one of the guys who inspired me to start my podcast as well. And so I was just like, I'm listening to interviews. I'm going to these different YouTube channels. And I'm like, I got to ask something completely different that they won't expect. You know, what dog food do they feed their pet? They're not ready for that question. You know, I want to get to know the human um, what's behind the creator. And so that keeps me going. And just like, you know, I, I love social media and learning about the way it works thing. And Ryan is always dropping movie news. Um, I'm always on his page and I'm like, Bro. you know, like <laughs> I think it's important to follow the right pages so your feed is full of the things you love. And one thing that I learned dropping another nugget um, is that you have to turn on notifications on Instagram. You have to turn on notifications for pages that you follow because the algorithm reset it all. It was a it was a purge. So you got all these pages you're following, but you're not getting any of the content in your feed. You have to turn it on, but they don't tell you that. So once again, staying informed and, and talking to the people, you know, in the community and having them introduce you or put you on to other creators like Kickstarters. Um, you get to learn about new creators and, and create that bond. And you know, people put give me free game. And I'm like, that's a master class. You telling me this for free? I appreciate it. You know, come to my platform. I, I can we can exchange audiences. You know what I mean? So that's my piece on that. And um, yeah, man, I, I love it. And I'm gonna keep doing it until you know the feds kick down my door. There we go. There we go. Alyssa, how do you uh, how do you stay inspired? Um, like Ryan, you said you're still working on your social media presence. I mean, who are the people that you're looking to, like that you're watching, and how do you just stay inspired to, to to keep going and keep pursuing it, even though, like you're saying, like it is a lot of work. Um, it's kind of like the feeling, like since I'm working with a team, I don't want to disappoint them, and it may sound like it's pressure, but it's more like um, if they're willing to take the time, um, and we're always together, always communicating. I want to do my best to like make sure, like, I make them proud. So if I know as much as social media is like, like actually like work, it's like, it inspires me to want to do better, want to make sure like, it's not just for myself, it's also I'm supporting my team. And right. it's also learning how to take the opportunity to do things that you feel uncomfortable about. Like, for example, like I never imagined myself to talking in these, like panels, but each time I keep doing it, it gets easier and I get opportunities to meet like, all you wonderful people, for example. Uh, not too long ago, I think Jeremy like added me on Facebook saying, hey, we're gonna go in a lot of panels together. And I just felt more comfortable. I was like, okay, like I'm gonna be with people that, are, that makes it fun. That makes it, like we're all working as a team. <clears throat> and then uh, Ren, as much as you're old, you have a lot of wisdom and like it's, <laughs> it's really amazing. <laughs> but at the same time, I, I'm ready <laughs> to know you more from this inner that you kind of like like to throw jabs. It's like I feel a little bit bored. Let me just throw a little jab, yeah. like at this right now. All right, let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> but it's and it's an opportunity to meet a lot of people. It's a it's it's amazing, and uh, and I'll keep saying it because it is. Because even though I'm new at it, it like a lot of people as indie creators do make it like fun. Do make it like you don't want to keep giving up. You want to keep doing what you are passionate about, what you want to like do for everybody else, especially for your community. Right. We, we over here talking about she putting you in sleeper hoes, Ren. She got you I know, covered, man. Bro. I know. I, I'm woozy. I'm woozy over here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, woozy over here. I was, hey, it's too early for my nap. 
<laughs> I know I'm asking. The, I know I'm asking the questions, but I'm gonna uh, comment on this one as well. I think um, too, when you get part of, when you're in, you start becoming in this community. I think others in the community inspire you also. Like I'm the type who feeds off the energy of the people that I like. You know, I support these people. Like I support Ren. I support everybody that's on this panel, and and everybody that's in that community circle. But it's like. When you're seeing them like excel and you're seeing them put it to the next level, you're like, okay, bet. Now I gotta pick, I gotta put it to that next level. So I think that's what that's another thing that's beautiful about the community and what's beautiful about all these podcasts that came about and all these things that people are doing now. Cause like the social media drive and presence is in way more full effect now than it, I feel like it's ever been because we had to learn, we had to adapt. So it's like, okay, like, oh, they're doing that. I gotta go here. And hopefully I'm inspiring them to go here. And then we just, you know what I mean? We're just, we just keep it going. I think that's the beautiful thing about it. Absolutely. I, I, I want to punch Ryan in the, in the, in the stomach the every time day. I see him post a picture. Yeah. Oh, I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> Ren, that's wrong. Did I say that? Be, well, I was... one, thing, one thing I can honestly say about the, about the, the blur community is that when they see, especially with Kickstarters, when they see projects that represent them or represent some form of a culture they want that mm. it, they're hungry for it and not like that's perfect example i did the TikTok the other day dealing with her being the new bell and and yashira being the uh yashira being the new uh tinkerbell and there's a poc peter pan now and the laugh that i gave and the the responses from it were nothing but positive. They were like, one, we love the laugh because it sounds like Scar. Two, they love the content of what of what's being said because they're just like, ha ha, y'all wanted to down Ariel, but you forgot Disney got our back too. And they were just like, here's all this. Here's all of this. Now be mad. Want to do cry? So we love yes. to see Kickstarters that represent us. We love to see uh, mm. art art artists who represent us because we don't they, they're not seen that much when you see artists who work on these, some of these character developments and everything else and you see them behind the scenes you're like oh they look like me mm -hmm. there is a place for me you know and that's what it's all about like so we enjoy seeing artists seeing writers seeing people who who like seeing pocs who who crafted stuff from foam and made this amazing looking costume and just like your stuff looks better than 90 percent of what hollywood puts out without that's one of the CGI. cool things about social media man like back in my day we didn't nobody nobody knew unless i went to a show what i looked like you know what i mean which is which is fine for me i'm, I'm fine because my, my art should speak for itself right yeah but i I don't I don't mind people seeing me, but it's it's not it's not completely necessary, right? But um as far as as far as young people, whenever whenever they come and see my table or, or whatever, they're like, You did that? I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> like like what I, I don't understand. Like that but but you look Where's like my Akasha, Ren? Uh, what? Where's my Akasha? <laughs> Oh, I need talking. my Akasha. Uh oh, what? Uh, inbox. I didn't say that now. No. I'm old. I didn't say that now. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm old. I forget. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like it, it's 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 dope to uh, to see more of us doing this because, like I say, in in the eighties, um, and and early nineties, we weren't represented that well. We had one maybe two black or even like Asian or, or Native American characters in major comics. And so um, it was it was it was pretty cool once the 90s hit and 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 later where these things became more more uh, mainstream and, and more popular to have. But I, I really enjoy seeing all the uh the representation out there man 
Ice, ice, yeah. ice. I kind of got off. Man, I I hope hope I I no, 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 no. I hope everybody's uh... Wesley Snipes, Blade. Yeah, yeah. I hope everybody just watching this, taking, taking <laughs> notes, um, <laughs> dropping some, <laughs> dropping some gold nuggets here. Hey, I don't uh, tell jokes uh, just all the time, man. Sometimes, I, sometimes I think about what I say. I'm, I'm not I'm doing it no more. Friend, I know we we love when you share that old wisdom that you have. Oh, <laughs> it makes us uh, makes us very, very happy and privileged to be. I'm going to get my blanket, man. I'm going to take a nap. Speaking of social media, <laughs> we're gonna go around really quick. I want everybody to tell um, not only where people can find you at, but I'm gonna to add to that. I want you to give one quick tip to somebody who was brand new, fresh coming into the game. Because, like we have said, social media can be overwhelming. It can be this monstrous thing. What's one quick tip that you would give somebody getting started in this in this uh, avenue? So we'll just go ahead and start and go around how we've been going. All right, y'all. So I'm Google friendly. My name, nobody got. <laughs> Vesenia Lindsay or Vesenia Designs. Uh, definitely you can find me on Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, you name it, I'm on it. Um, a good tip is to be consistent. If you're doing art, definitely post as much as you can. And um, if people are responding to you, respond back to them, you know, see what they're working with and network. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Chris Fury, Blurred's Eye View. Tuesdays, 8.30 p.m., Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Thursdays, 9 p.m., same channel, uh, all Eastern Standard Time. Uh, go to the IG page. Give you to all the socials. I uh, Blurred's Eye View, all one word. Uh, quick tip. Whether you're a writer, whether you're an artist, whether you're starting out as a podcast, uh, don't quit. It doesn't matter how unperfect it is. It doesn't matter. If it's something you love, just keep doing it. Trust me, when I started Blur's Eye View, it, it, <laughs> the lighting was shit. The, the sounds was crap, but we kept going. And it got better. And the, and the production value got better. Like So don't stop. Keep going. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Oh. Ryan. Boom. <laughs> uh, my, name is, my name is Ryan Robinson. You can find me on Facebook. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram at r squared 248 But you can find me at Facebook. Um, uh, I am officially part of you ain't gonna find me on the Twitter. Yeah, you ain't going to find me on the Twitter. You ain't going to find me on the Twitches. You ain't gonna find me on the tube, just the Facebook. <laughs> um, but I'm a part of FSK, part of Burning Spear, the Adventures of Nokia, uh, Nokoa, Nokia, Journey to Ikea. Kickstarter's dropping this October. I'm also working on a five star variant cover, five star dropping this October. I'm also on the Sondering, yay! And um, we are moving, shaking. Quick pro quo tip, do not have any fear. I'm one of those people who had fear. Put yourself out there, put your work out there, the work will speak for itself. Do not have the fear, project yourself, put yourself out there, own yourself. Nice. Wonderful. Rene Renzi, R-E-N-M-C-K-I-N-Z-I-E. If you spell it correctly, you'll find me. It doesn't matter where. Uh, my biggest tip is, and I can only give tips to artists, draw what you're not comfortable drawing. Um, draw every day, of course. It, it's going to be it's going to be said. Draw what you're not comfortable drawing. If you if you feel like you're weak in something, don't hide from it. Practice it. Draw it a hundred times. Draw it a thousand times until you get good at it, and that's it. Nice. Thank you, Ren. That's dope. I appreciate that. Um, you can find me online at thestorymonster.com, at the Story Monster on Twitter and Instagram, as well as Facebook. Um, the bit of advice I have to give for creative burnout or anybody starting off, use Facebook Planner. It's free. Of course, you need a business or community page to use it, but use Facebook Planner. You can connect your Instagram to it. That way you can post to Instagram and Facebook at the same time and then copy and paste that crap to Twitter 
and boom, you got your own content management system set up at no cost to you. So I would recommend Facebook Planner. Hit me up. I'm happy to answer any questions for free. And um, yeah, check out the Story Monster podcast. Right, man. Jeremy right. dropping bombs today. I like that. Right. He is like dropping that. bombs. <laughs> All right. At a teeny. Oh, listen. Where can um, I find you? Can, uh, you can find me on Instagram, I do two gates with the comic stuff. And then and also in Real Style Comics for more information about it too. <clears throat> and uh, the only tidbit of advice I have is never uh, be afraid to ask for help because there's always somebody out there that will willing to help you but if there isn't anything you can always google it too google is your more friend thing. folks hey mm-hmm. one more you thing. Have heard it here you have you got, the, you got the young you got the old you got the with hair you got with the no hair you got it all right here popping uh just just knowledge in the panel, you got the beards to the left, you got the beards <laughs> straight down. Um, it's going down. I hope if you were you're new to the game, you're watching because it was some, some beautiful stuff shared. I want to thank all the guests for joining us. Uh, I want to thank Michael Watson for letting me host this panel last minute. Throw me in here, but you know, I love the guy, so it is what it is. Um, and that's it. We're gonna keep this thing, we're gonna keep this thing rocking going to go to a commercial break and then we're going to get back with another panel thanks again everybody we'll catch y'all that one that one mike okay that's the one <laughs> where's the end yeah. button boom Ha 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 ha!